Next guest, he is one of the most exciting new names in stand-up comedy. He first came to my attention on last year's Big Brother's Big Mouth. Have a look at this. George, See, George, Pete's, Pete's look, look, at him, look at him, look at him. Yuri, let George have a, let Yuri, Yuri, let George have a little go. Okay. Yeah. And if it's, <laughs> go on. Sorry, George. <laughs> well, What did we you go. want to say in response to sort of all of this? Pete's brilliance is that he can explode, find the words, find the target, and then kiss the target he's just attacked actually, and move on. Actually, that is brilliant. Yeah. That you is brilliant. are a politician, yeah? You represent this country, yeah? For you to sit back and let Pete bully other people in the house, he's like Tracy that time. He is bullying you, he is bullying you, but at the same time. If you cannot stand up for yourself, no, if you cannot stand up for yourself, you deserve to get torn down. That's the whole no, point of Parliament. All right, all right. All right, Sel, stop it. I will resort to violence. This is not a democracy. This is like Iraq in the good old days, a dictatorship. Shut up. I have got Peter Stringfellow on the phone. Please welcome Russell Brand, ladies and gentlemen. That was quite alarming. When you loomed round there, because you've got a very distinctive look about you, Russell, it was a bit, it was a bit like a dream. I don't reckon I loomed, I meandered. You meandered? <laughs> There's a little bit of looming involved, if you don't mind me saying so. I deliberately timed that walk, Jonathan, so there'd be nothing startling about it. OK, well, <laughs> I think you can't help but being a bit startling. Do you think so? Well, you've got a startling look about you. It's a, it's a great look. I'll be honest with you, if I thought I could get away with that, I would be there with you. Yeah. All right? You've got a kind of... What is that look? How, it's kind of like Max Wall meets Pete Doherty via Lily Savage. Nice. <laughs> Sounds like a wonderful evening. With a little bit of Keith Richards starting for good measure. Um, that, is that a... Do you I, have a stylist or I do you do this yourself? I do have a stylist. She's called Sharon. She's excellent. But I think I look like a Dickensian gent or perhaps an S&M Willy Wonka. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a golden ticket. Da -da. Hey. Why well, stop at golden tickets, Jonathan? <laughs> there is a, we live in a world with showers. <laughs> I don't even understand that. <laughs> uh, do you buy your own clothes or are they bought for you by the show? Or I mean, I'm assuming you go out shopping like a regular person. I go out shopping, eh? But are those trousers, they, are they ladies' trousers? They are ladies' trousers. They're ever so restrictive, I must say. Well, because they're not cut for gentlemen's parts. No, that's right. As a matter of fact, I have to live my life like that bit in Silence of the Lambs where Buffalo Bill pops his ghoulies between his legs. <laughs> you know, mine are permanently there. But, but it gives me, it makes me feminine inside to feel flourishing. Well, that's a good thing then. Mm, I think so, yeah. I think so as well. You, you know, and, and where do you buy the ladies' jeans from? You go to a regular ladies' jeans shop? Yeah, I just go into a ladies' jeans shop, you know, loom round the door, <laughs> freak people out a little bit. <laughs> so, I've come here to buy some attire, if you don't mind. <laughs> but, you know, they dress me up all right nice. But if they didn't know better, you might be a circus lady. You know, like a lady, uh, like a bearded lady. Jonathan, <laughs> this is a remark designed to hurt my feelings. Not at all. It's a good look. A bearded lady? I wish I looked like a bearded lady. You ask my wife. Well, not a week goes by when I don't say, why don't I look more like a bearded lady? I think that you should work on your marriage then, because <laughs> trying to incorporate this freakish behaviour would be no good for any of you. <laughs> it's a kind of a, a rock and roll look, in a way, as well, I isn't it? I suppose so, it's yes. Kinda... There's an, an element of rock and roll about it, yeah. ain't there? And stack heels. Oh, it's a great look. Yeah, it it's nice. Thank you for being so kind to me uh, yeah, about no. my physical appearance. But, of course, beauty is transient, and one day you and I will both die, Jonathan. <laughs> there will be naught but dust. <laughs> Not today, though. Today's going to be lovely. Yeah. <laughs> I've got a good feeling about this. Yeah. Well, that's, that's taken the wind out of my sails. Now, here's the exciting news, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Big Brother is back on TV next week. If you're a fan of that show, then, of course, it's an unmissable part of your summer. If you're not, then it no doubt drives you mad. What on earth are you fiddling with, Mr Brand? My microphone's come loose. I was preoccupied. I, thought... I was worried. I thought that comment earlier about Buffalo Bill, you were trying to pull it tight. <laughs> I thought, I'll feel ever so masculine if I can just pull and talk. <laughs> pull them up and connect it to your scarf round the back. <laughs> you them. Okay. You must watch films that give you ideas like that because I don't think your imagination could conjure that. You'd be amazed. <laughs> <laughs> Big Brother is back, uh, starts on Channel 4 next Thursday night, mm. uh, and your show is a kind of, it's every night on E4, straight after the show, isn't it? It's on four nights a week, Tuesday to Friday, okay. after the main show on Channel 4. Okay, that's now, right. I uh, came to your show sort of by accident, uh, because right. it used to be, they, they, they change it most years, don't I they? I came to yours very deliberately. <laughs> <laughs> 
I think you know what I mean, though. I, I didn't even know it was on necessarily, and, yeah. and uh, I really enjoyed it. And I found your style really made it work for me. Thank uh, you. It's quite a peculiar show. How would you describe it? I describe it like it's like Kilroy, but only talking about Big Brother, and there is no racism allowed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Um, we just talk about the show and just go, oh, this has happened within the house and build, up, build it up into hoopla, you know, but don't take it too seriously, But, uh, but it seems to be, is it more or less the same crowd of... John, you're inadvertently giving me the finger. <laughs> I didn't mean that. <laughs> I'm my a sensitive lad. <laughs> my subconscious is running wire tonight. Blimey. <laughs> Thank God my jeans are this tight. <laughs> you could wear me like a puppet. <laughs> there we is. <laughs> Thank you, asshole. I um, want to do it my own voice. <laughs> I'm suffering the indignity of your hand in my bottom. <laughs> At least be able to speak to people. Maybe, maybe just on your back. Can we just have that instead? I suppose so. Yeah. I'll tickle you when you should open your mouth. Um, <laughs> Blimey, that's what my love life's like anyway. No. <laughs> no. Uh, were you? Russell Brand, a fan of Big Brother, before they came and offered you this show? I was not. I did not watch it. I was ever so busy doing other stuff. OK, so... <laughs> when you, you got the job, you were watching it more or less innocently for the first time. Yeah, I, I came to it newly, right, and I, I enjoy it very much. Do you watch it? I watch it. I like it. I always try and resist it. Every year I say to myself, I'm not going to watch it this year. I'm not going to mm. get sucked in by a bunch of, let's face it, normally quite sad and damaged individuals yeah. <laughs> being forced into difficult circumstances almost to the verge of a breakdown, yeah. sometimes performing unnatural acts with wine bottles in front of the nation. Alluring, <laughs> though. And now I find myself that I've saved it on the Sky Plus and I watch it again and again. <laughs> Last year, George Galloway doing robotic dancing in a leotard <laughs> is still one of the single most frightening things I've seen in my life. It's extraordinary, that, isn't it? That he would do that and then expect to be ac accepted back into mainstream culture again, and, having done it. And getting even more votes. You, I can't imagine... It's a sort of... It becomes a vote for erotica, don't it, if you vote for George Galloway now? Feline erotica. What you're essentially saying is I find the cats attractive, sex-wise. <laughs> no, that's not what you're saying. <laughs> Well, that's what the respect party is. <laughs> it's the eroticised feline party. Yeah, in a manner. The EFP. After a fashion. Do you ever worry, though, Russell, that they're pushing people a bit too far? Because sometimes it does concern me. I think they've got people in here, and then they, some of them do seem a little fragile, particularly the celebrity bunch they did last time. I don't worry about that, because I just think it's not my business. Sorry. I just think, this is entertaining, I think. You know, just watch okay. it as entertainment Fine. and try you're... to divorce myself from moral obligation. Okay. I save that for my private life. OK. Uh, <laughs> Well, <laughs> Russell's mentioned his private life, uh, and oh, we should blimey. talk about this because, man, you have had quite, quite a life, haven't you? Quite an extreme life. Yeah, I have. Okay. I've been alive and that, breathing in and out for ages, right up until now. <laughs> but how old are you? Uh, 30 years I've been alive. Okay, you seem to have crammed a lot into those 30s, is what I'm yeah. saying. A lot of experience, a lot of These trousers are like a metaphor, all crammed in with the dirtiest bits tucked round the back. 